Welcome back to Go Statesman TV. Joined now by a very happy Statesman head coach, Ron Roberts. Coach, I'd like to take this time to congratulate you on another Gulf South Conference championship. It wasn't pretty, but we, once again, we got it done just like we always do. No doubt. It, it, I'm real proud of our guys uh, being able to obviously focus and, and get the big win. Uh, you know, I thought we jumped out to a big lead there, and we we're going to, you know, uh, cruise to an easy win, but obviously not. And that's a typical GSE play. You know, they got a lot of pride in their conference title on the line. They they came out and played a great second half. Coach, this this must mean a lot to you personally because when you recruit players from from California, Florida, all over the country to to come in and win a championship, you've delivered almost every year you've been here. Well, that's it. I mean, we try to. That's our biggest selling point as far as recruiting is we try to tell them that you know you want to find a place that you want to come get a degree and and a conference championship and put a ring on your finger, you know, this is a great place for you. Coach, going into the – let's talk about the first half of the football game. We really raced out to a lead. It seemed like the game plan was working well. And then what what happened towards the end of the first half when things – when West Alabama stuck to their game plan? Did that surprise you a little bit? No, you know, probably the, the biggest one was really uh, – the, the probably that opened some doors up was how well he threw the football. Uh, you know, and, you know, he's had a pretty high completion rate, but uh, uh, we tried to really put the ball in his hands and make him uh, throw the football and, and make them have to do something, be one-dimensional. And that was our whole plan. The first half we came away and really did a good job of taking away the run and, and made him throw the football. And then as the game progressed, he got better and better. And then as he completed the ball and was able to throw it, uh, it kind of spread us out a little bit, and they came back and were able to run the football. But, uh, you know, for the lowest part, our biggest part was we were trying to get through that first half to make sure we knew they were going to make some adjustments at halftime for what we were doing because we were we were sold out and committed to, to stopping the run and, and make sure to stop in that option game. What did they do, if anything, differently in the second half of the football game? Not not a whole lot different. Just, I mean, he, there's some receivers made some, some huge plays. Uh, oh, you know, we committed the turnovers and put them ball on the short end of a field that, you know, that helped them out quite a bit. But uh, I think with anything, what he does, you know, he kind of, I thought the, 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 the quarterback kind of stepped his game up there a little bit. He's a great, I like him. I mean, I, I mean, I like watching him as a player. I think he's a great competitor. He's a, he's a good football player. And uh, I think uh, the competitiveness came out in him and, and that kid, that kid kind of put that team on his back and tried to carry him. And as a freshman, that's pretty impressive. Coach, there was something you said to me about three or four weeks ago before we played North Alabama when I asked what it would take to win it, win that football game, and you said our guys would have to believe in, in each other. Is that the one thing that you can put your finger on that this football team has, the way where we can hang in and fight off a comeback from West Alabama or make a late drive that we believe in each other? I, I, no doubt. I mean, I think this team has uh, has bought into the things that we're sold, you know, we've sold them on, and that is believing in each other, and, and we're going to win as a family, and and trust each other, and those type of things. Uh, we still got to play better. I mean, there's a lot of improvement we can make as far as, you know, are we playing the cleanest game? Are we playing as good as we can play? No, but you know, very few teams in the country are ever going to they're, they're not going to come out there and play their best, the the greatest game of their life, and then you're hardly ever going to be able to repeat that on a normal basis. That's just not going to happen. Um, but uh, our guys play, they play hard, and that's the thing we want to be known for. We want to play hard, play with passion, enjoy the football game, and, and believe in, our, in each other that the things that we're doing are going to work. Coach, on behalf of all the Statesman Nation, want to thank you for another Gulf South Conference championship. Thank you, and it was a great, obviously a great environment. We had a great attendance crowd, and that was, that was, that was awesome, and uh, it was a great homecoming. Joined now by Statesman wide receiver Levon Downs. LD, it started coming to us pretty early in this football game, jumped out pretty early to a big lead. What was coming to you pretty early in this game when you were really getting open some during the early stages? It was just part of the game plan. My coaches put me in perfect position, made the plays, and I just blessed with the talent that God gave me, and I just made the plays. Talk about the looks that West Alabama was giving. I know in the film room we saw a lot of a lot of soft coverage, three, four, and five out from them. Is that what they were doing to start off the football game? Yeah, they were really – like most of the time they were like playing – they didn't want to get beat deep. They didn't want to give up anything deep. So most of the routes that we were catching on, it was like curls and hitches, hitch routes and stuff. That, that's what – like they was giving up soft coverage. Like it was just giving up too much. And going forward, when the when the defense started giving up some points there towards the end of the football game, did you really feel like that it was on the, the shoulders of the offense to start to start going forward and try to get more points on the board? No, I feel like it's a team thing. I feel like our D, we, I mean, our D, they, they play that they, their ability, you know what I'm saying? But uh, the offense, we come out every day, you know what I'm saying? We practice what, like, coming back, we do two-minute offense. And, I mean, this is what we just practice. So it, it's like nothing new to us. But, I mean, it's not on nobody's shoulders. It's on all our shoulders, though, both sides of the ball. 
I know this is what you came all the way from Florida and California for, yeah. is to win a championship. Yeah. Talk about the feeling you have right now. Man, it, it feels good because, I mean, I've been on a lot of champ like caliber championship teams or whatever, and I always feel short or whatever, and I want to come out tonight and just perform at one of my best games I ever had, you know what I'm saying, to help these seniors out or whatever, and I want, you know what I'm saying, gra grab another one next year, but it feels good to be a champion, though. We'll send it over to Clayton Kaufman, who's standing by with Statesman defensive back Dwight Tillman. Thanks, JT. We're joined by senior defensive back Dwight Tillman. Dwight, let's talk about that first half because that was our best half of football throughout the entire season. What did you see out there defensively? And you guys were able to get some stops in that first half. Yeah, the first half, they were doing everything that we thought they were going to do, what we um, game plan for. They was coming out, running the option. We had pitch players. We had quarterback players. They tried to throw. They weren't really a good passing team, so we um, capitalized on a couple of um, passes and had interceptions. And we just got to the ball. Speaking of capitalizing, you had a 40-yard interception return that, you know, the crowd's behind you, the offense is doing well, special teams did really well in that first half, and that pick six from you gave the gave your team a big lead. What did you see on that play, and all you really had to do was step in front of that ball? Well, on that play, uh, all week we see how when they check when they check the sideline and change the play, they always cut the splits down. And um, my safety, JB, and um, he told us to, like, oh, slam coming, slam coming. So... I was like, all right, I'm going to play inside. And um, uh, uh, Invert, Brett, he, he walled off the slant. So they, they wanted to get it number one, but I just stepped in and they threw it to the other guy and I took it to the house. All right, that first half, obviously dominant. And then the second half, they just stuck with their game plan. I know you're shaking your head right now, but their, their quarterback had a lot of speed on that outside edge and he was really able to hit some, few, hit some big plays. And what do you guys got to do going back just to fix that and you know get better for the next game? Well, the option, option is hard to do, or how to um, – defend against and the quarterback number 12 he, he was fast he was shifty he, he, he did a thing and we just had to contain him and we couldn't really contain him and but the go back to the drawing board we just got to read our keys and and then stay focused the whole game they play all 60 minutes we just can't play one half and expect that a team is going to lay down Dwight you were able to hang on though you've won a fourth GSC championship in the last five years just talk about what it means to be a Gulf South Conference champion all feels good is it's that it's a good feeling to let you know that you're on top. You're the top guy, and we got this win. Now all we got to do is win in West Georgia. We have five on the playoffs, and we're just going to the playoffs rolling, and that's always good at the end of the year. Dwight, thanks for your time, and congrats on the championship. Thank you. That was